Steps away from the heart and hustle of Times Square sits a rare New York City wonder, the Drama Bookshop. 100 years, several locations, and an honorary Tony later, this little shop on 40th Street has cemented its status as an essential resource for the worldwide performing arts community. Congratulations on 100 years. There's a lot of history here. Yes, we've had some interesting experiences over the years. Such as? A lot of young actors before they were famous came here, and a lot of them still come back later too. Ones that surprised me when I was early on was Catherine Hepburn. She wouldn't come into the shop. She was too shy. And her niece, Catherine Hepburn, and have to go pick up her books for her. Marilyn Monroe would come by. Goldie Hawn, Cher came here. We were home for Lin-Manuel Miranda when he wrote the In the Heights down in the basement. A century of business has come with ups and downs. In 2016, a pipe burst above the shop, ruining inventory and almost forcing the store to close. That is until a famous friend stepped in, Lin-Manuel Miranda. All of a sudden, the phones are ringing off the hooks. There are people out the door waiting to get in. The Dramatist Guild is sending over playwrights to sign their books. Everybody came and helped us. It was really quite, I mean, you can tell us chucked up. Oh. <laughs> Alan, this is exactly what I do when I'm in your store. I just look at every single title. Tell me about everything that we're looking at. We have books on the history of theater, how to do theater, including how to act, how to design, how to direct, how to produce, how to sing, how to speak with an accent, how to lose an accent. And Seinfeld scripts. <laughs> We are in the Arthur Seelan Theater now. It's really just a small black box in the basement. Theater 68 is doing a production of String of Pearls. And over here is the piano where Lin-Manuel wrote In the Heights. I think about the fact that in New York City, stores come and go in a matter of years or even under a year. I also think about the fact that bookstores are closing at record paces and you guys are still standing. Why? I don't really think of us as a bookstore. We're a resource. People walk into the store upset, angry, frustrated. They come through the door, they immediately relax. They're happy to be here. They feel safe. They know they're gonna be able to take them care of. So it's so much more than just a bookstore. Yeah, it's a home. So happy 100th birthday to you, Drama Bookshop. Here's to 100 more.